Hello. So, a couple of years ago, I was at a club in Seattle. I told the DJ about this, though there were a few individuals who were there at the time who had um, watched it. There was a couple of people in the lobby as well as the female who was at the computer desk in the office that listened to this. So this couple comes up to where I'm at. I was behind in the office and um, I had gone in there to check on that individual at the computer to make sure if she needed anything. And this male and female come up and they're like, you. Yeah. The male asks me where I'm from. I was like, oh, I'm from New Jersey originally. Why? And he says, well, my wife's from New Jersey too. I said, oh, what exit? Those who are from the East Coast understand that or who have traveled to the East Coast, lived there, whatever. And she said, the female, said, um, obviously, she had said, exit 193. Huh. I did have a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And I have a lot of uh, memory issues, among other stuff, because of that. Don't recall that being an exit number. And I'm thinking that to myself. I didn't say it out loud. And so the, <laughs> the female was all kind of like, when doing that, and I was like, what exit are you from? Was what the male said. I was like, exit nine. That's the exit you took to get to where I'm from. And the male says, well, you know, I saw how you dance. You must uh, dance like her. And I was like, mm, probably not, but okay, you know, fine, if that's what you think. And he said, I challenge you to a dance off with my wife. Do you understand, like, in my thoughts, I'm thinking, and I want to just be like, do you understand where you are? Are you lost? Do you, like, understand you're in an adult club and there's not a competition tonight? There are nights where we do have competitions at the club, but... That is not tonight. And so if you want a competition for dancing of me against your wife, you have to go on a night and there's a competition. But this is an adult club. This isn't a non-adult club. So, you know, maybe, maybe, this is not the place for you if you think that there's a dance competition that's going to happen tonight. But instead, <laughs> instead of saying that because I had my volunteer badge on, I was in the office, that sort of thing, it was, yeah, no thanks. Like, it's okay. No. And then, and the male and female are trying to convince me to do a dance off with his wife, mainly the male trying to convince me to do a dance off with his wife. In my head, as instead of hearing blah, 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 wah, 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 as the male spoke, I'm, I'm number one, trying to remember how many exits there are in the state of New Jersey on the longest 
and the shortest because maybe maybe but I found out later no like the longest um, road is like 91 exits so starting on that and then <laughs> hi Randy. number two as he's blah, 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 wah, 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 wah. I'm thinking in my head do you understand that you cannot go up to someone to challenge someone to a dance club dance off sporadically and have a prepared dance to compete to because that's not really a challenge again you're in a dope location and then in a dope location we have competitions and if you want to do a competition you do the competition on the competition night and then you have the ability to do a pre-planned dance if you want to but if not going up to someone and <laughs> challenging them for your wife because you're not whatever in your good idea <laughs> and so he com continues speaking and i'm still you know in my head thinking along similar lines among many others and he just well are you sure you don't want to do a dance off against my wife do you feel threatened and it's like no <laughs> no no i'm not threatened at all no that's okay <laughs> Now, if I would guesstimate what the female at the computer, <laughs> she was probably thinking something along the lines of, really? <laughs> Why? Are you really? I'm going to turn my chair this way. <laughs> So you don't see me laugh in your face because, you know, she was an employee. And so it was just one of those, yeah, no, but you guys, and this is me to, to them, you guys um, have a good night. I'm going I'm to go outside and smoke. And so afterwards, I went outside, got my cell phone out, looked it up, and I was like, oh, there's 91 exits in the state of New Jersey on the longest road. Oh, okay. So then, because I'm not a pansy, I'm not a whiny little titty baby. I mean, I do whine. I do have boobs. Um, <laughs> but I'm an adult. I can be a baby about certain things, but usually it's warranted. And so I go inside and I see that couple sitting at one of the tables, like closest to the dance floor. I go up to the DJ and I'm like, hey, do you need anything? Because that's part of what it, you need anything? You need something to drink? You need something to eat? What do you need? And he's like, no, 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 no I'm good. I'm good. What song do you want to hear? And I'm like, you know better than to ask me that. Because if I were to <laughs> respond, and you know I'm not drunk or like messed up. I'll just be like the song with words, and there's like a a a, a sound, and, and so we're not gonna go down that road. But you want to hear something funny, and the DJ looks at me and he's like, "Yeah, sure, I'm always into something funny. What's funny? Do you see that couple right there? <laughs> you see them right there? That that male that." next to the female the only ones at any of the tables at all but just so happen to be at the front row of the tables like do you see them right there you, you see them and he looks at me and he's like yeah they're, they're not difficult to miss yeah i see him i'm like you see that male right there you see that guy and he's like yes yes i see he challenged me to a dance off for his wife. And the DJ <laughs> almost fell off of the stage. Because he's like, do, he, he looks at me and goes, Do they understand where they're at? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, 
I've been in dance-offs before. Some of them I've won, some of them I haven't. But, you know, like, I don't know, like, we ha we do have nights where that happens, right? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, because I was thinking that, but I wasn't certain. And he's like, yeah, no, 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 we do. Okay, so, like, it's not one of those nights, right? And he's like, yeah, no, it's not one of those nights. And I'm like, so, why? Why would they ask me that? He's like, I have no, I, oh, my God, I don't know. I don't know why they would think that'd be a good idea. And so I see, look across the dance floor and I see the male going, and the female going, and it's like, yeah, hi. So you see that couple right there, like right there. And like, I am not hiding it at all. I'm not a punk. I'm not a little words and stuff. And I mean, I am little, but and I'm like, so yeah, you know, and then you know what that female said, like right there. And he goes, no, what did she say? I asked her what exit she's from in the state of New Jersey because that guy, that husband right there, that guy, he was like, you know, she's from New Jersey too. And then, you know, like, she was like, yeah, I am. And I was like, so what exit are you from? And he was like, huh? And I was like, oh, in New Jersey. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. And I was like, so I told them that I'm from Exit 9 because that's where, you know, I'm from in New Jersey before my head injury. And he's like, yeah, I know you've told me about your head injury. Okay, so, you know, I had to look because I didn't remember. And he like, yeah, that's part of your head injury stuff. Yeah, so, like, there's, there's stuff. There's, there's not an Exit 193. He's like, yeah, New Jersey's like a really tiny state. Yeah, I know. I don't know what state they were thinking. But that guy with that female, the, the male and the female, like right there, those, like right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Susan, you're really like not hiding that. And I was like, I don't hide. Do I camo? And he's like, no, no, you don't. No, you, you don't camo at all. Like, okay, so those two <laughs> right there, <laughs> they challenged me, not technically they. The male challenged his female to challenge me for his wife to a dance off. Like, why would that guy, like, challenge me for his wife and i don't mean in the east coast way i because he's in and so just you know i'm just saying and so why why would he do that and he's like i don't know and i said i don't know if he thought that that was going to go over well but that guy with that female like those right there they don't understand the rules of the club, I think. <laughs> just, DJ looks at me and he's just like, oh my God, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just felt like <laughs> laughing at that because I know I'm not the only one. I discussed that with like a whole bunch of people like the, that night and then the week after. And so I figured I'd, I would <laughs> make a video of that, because why not? So, you know, <laughs> it's just one of those, that guy, so anybody who would have lied and said that I went into hiding, I mean, I admit during my Medal of Honor art project trips, I tried to hide my tattoos not in a I'm hiding myself, I just didn't want to scare anybody because I, you know, look as I do. And so, <laughs> but I was still me. I mean, the people that I spoke with in the different states, I mean, at some point, I'm sure I might have told them about my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. I might have. I don't know who I spoke. I spoke with a few different people. So, but yeah, you know, <laughs> If anybody was like, law enforcement guy, she's hiding who she is. 
you know, to, to where whatever is nothing about me camos at all. So if that occurred hypothetically, then, you know, they lied. They, they lied really bad, like really, really bad. And I would guess to make law enforcement knows that now because, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to like explain certain quirks without saying I have a head injury? If we met before, um, <laughs> I apologize for not remembering because I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 and I have memory problems. I, uh, and some variation of that. I might have. I, I think I did. Oh, and then there was this other time. This other time. So, um, I was outside in the smoking section. I'm talking with a group of people. Okay? And, you know, there's, you know, in the circular kind of shape of group of people... Everybody's kind of talking amongst themselves, but then randomly, you know, all talk together, like, you know, normal, whatever. And so this one, like, dirty blonde female with blue eyes, she steps forward towards where I'm at, and she goes, I just gotta tell you this. And it's like, whoa, I can smell the alcohol on you and whatever else. And... You know, before that, I see her, like, speak with the person next to her, and I see her go, and I'm just like, okay, that's a little weird, whatever, and so I'm talking with whoever I'm talking with, and that female steps forward, and she's, I just gotta tell you something, and it's like, uh-huh, what, is everything okay, because... Your pupils are extremely dilated, and you're slurring your words really badly, and um, tea. Yeah, it's not just alcohol. I'm smelling off you, and, <laughs> and then it, the location I was at, definitely not just that, and so <laughs> she gets all like, I just wanted to tell you, and um, uh huh. Now I'm also watching the people in the group just going, <laughs> and it was like, why don't you just do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be more camo y <laughs> than you going like <laughs> this. <laughs> Not trying to be me. Anyway, so the female, the, the, the dirty blonde female, she's like, when I saw you walking around inside a, a club, and I'm like, uh-huh, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to, ew, <laughs> ew, but go, yeah, go ahead, keep speaking, and she says, you look like the biggest. <laughs> she didn't giggle. She just did this and I just, I'm giggling. But anyway. You look like the biggest C word in like the world. Oh, well, you know, excuse me. I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 and I deal with like headaches and migraines. After And I go down this whole rigmarole with her, explaining my headaches and migraines and how, you know, if she saw me go from one area to another, it was probably because I was trying to, you know, remember. And she was like, well, you have a resting sea face. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, it's really difficult with as much electricity stuff as in, you know, this area and the zapping stuff. And I actually get my sides of my head waxed, unlike, you know, when I was in the state of Texas, I didn't have to do that, but, you know, whatever, da, da, da. nowadays I have to, because of the weight, but that's about it, but anyway, um, <clears throat> and being accustomed to not having that weight and the hair poking into the sides of my glasses and then back into my head, like, now I got used to that, but anyway, so at that time, going back to the 
<laughs> Go through the whole rigmarole of like the headaches, the migraines, all that sort of stuff. And she goes, Oh, well, I, uh, I, uh, and the rest of the group that's around, they're like, <gasps> <laughs> although the males didn't do the giggling thing, they had like a little <laughs> type of <laughs> And I'll just understand. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the reason. I, I apologize if you think that I have, you know, resting sea face. But you know, that's just you know, I'm just being able to stay and I'm trying to do the best that I can. And you know, blah 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 blah. blah. And she's just well, you know, I just wanted to tell you that. Okay. You have a good night. Bye. <laughs> so anyway, just felt like, you know, putting that out there. You guys have a good one. Like this video and share that and um, subscribe to my channel, Reverend Me Lee. Have a good one.